Hello and thanks for popping in and here I am again and I'm going to do some hip release and some lower back release with yin yoga poses. Some happy baby and some stag pigeon and a um, straddle pose. So if you want to join me you might want to block or you might <clears throat> just do it without a block and use a thick book or well, no, no prop at all. It works just fine without. But um, let's come and lay down onto the back. And we're going to start with Happy Baby this evening to expand into the back body and release any tension in the back body. So you can take your hands just underneath like this to just open up in towards the lower back and open the pathways. If you have the mobility, take your hands outside your feet, arms inside the legs, and enjoy just being in happy baby pose, finding your edge. The pressure should be comfortable about a three or four within a like a zero to 10 scale. So by the time we found the correct pressure, then we'll just hold it as still as we can and enjoy the rotation of the femur and the ligaments and tendons in the hips. And we hold for about 20 breaths total in each pose, give or take a few. being as passive as we can. Making sure the toes are relaxed and the only thing that's really holding and being active would be the fingers, the hands to hold on to the feet and to make the pose possible and happening. Take another five breaths here. slowly release the legs and put your feet down. I'm going to go into a knee to chest pose or I like to call it stack pose. I'll use one block on the lowest level and put it underneath my sacrum, the triangle bony part right at the base of your spine. Take one knee in. I'm starting with my right and then extending the left leg out and get it in towards that left hip, nice and juicy. And maybe holding your hands a little bit further down than the knee to kind of support the whole leg of staying in a nice plugged in way. Finding where your edge is and maybe moving around a little bit to find your way as little as possible, but then from there holding it still and then holding the pose as long as you can in stillness for about 
20 breaths right here. Having a nice gentle compression on towards the right hip and a nice elongation onto the left, all the hip flexors and the supportive tissue around it, the fascia. It's a nice cleanse and opening. Being as passive as we can. Letting all the muscles just relax. Just by being still in a yin yoga pose, it's nice to know that we bring health and vitality into the deeper layers. Checking in so that all muscles have a chance to just relax and be. Five more breaths. And slowly bending your left leg in and putting the right foot down and switching to the second side. Right leg extends out and the left leg comes in. And it's also nice to keep in mind that the stomach meridian runs on the front side of the thigh and the, and the kidney meridian on the back side of the thigh. It's nice to know that they're being targeted and kind of flushed a little bit or a lot, bringing some extra health to those organs. Go and find where your edge is in stag onto your second side, compressing the left side and elongating the right side, bringing health and vitality in towards the deeper layers. Finding where there's a good place to just hold comfortably for 20 breaths, relaxing toes, all the muscles of the legs are relaxing. The shoulders are relaxing. The muscles of the face are relaxing. About another 10 breaths here.
gently release the leg and put your feet down flat on the floor coming up onto the toes lifting the hips off the block and taking the block to the side give yourself maybe a few windshield wipers with your knees side to side and we'll have one more supine form and we'll take shoelace pose for the outer for the iliac crest area and of course like a deeper rotator um, connective tissue and fascia the hip flexors um, I really do like this one um, taking your right leg over the left and then maybe putting a block for your left foot maybe that's enough pressure for the hips maybe you can take your hands around the knees or around the hamstrings wherever it works for you sometimes I like to take my hands down to the ankles to the sides of the feet and bring the legs the lower legs out to the side shoulder blades down on the floor and just enjoying a nice comfortable pressure in towards the hips in towards IT band area on the right side and then being as heavy as we can in the legs with the pressure from your arms and the hands holding the outside of your ankles or wherever you're holding around the knees using a strap whichever works and then going just by layer by layer and relaxing the muscles so they're done not holding back or trying to resist but then we might need to back off a little bit so that we can actually fully relax that way the pose can go in and become a yin yoga pose and target the fascia and the connective tissues. enjoying our breath maybe you're having some soothing music on your favorite playlist maybe birds are singing outside maybe it's raining cozily on the windows another five breaths here And slowly move your toes, maybe roll your ankles and undo the legs. And making it to the second side, crossing your left over your right. Maybe you do it from the bottom and cross over. And then finding your hands, whether it's under the knees or over the knees. Kind of check and see how this side is doing. There's going to be probably maybe a little bit different feeling, always depending on how our hips are situated from the beginning and how we come into our yin yoga practice 
um, with our hips. You never know, maybe they need to have a block underneath the foot instead, or maybe they do this as the side where you go and take ankles. So uh, making sure that you cross above the knees and take your hands around wherever it works for you and then just sink into a comfortable edge where you feel that you can stay for about 20 breaths in a comfortable zone of three to four on a scale of up to 10. So well, I'll meet you there at that place. And then we just get to hang out and just trust that the pose is just doing its magical work for us. Wherever the feelings are occurring, that's, that's a good place usually. If it's a good feeling, if not, come out of the pose. Relaxing the toes, relaxing all the muscles so that the pose can go straight in and bring health and vitality to the fascia that surrounds each and every muscle, bone and ligament, tendon, really every cell. have about another 10 breaths. slowly undo your legs maybe stretch your legs up towards the sky we're gonna come over on to all fours and take right side pigeon pose or swan pose facing down now if that doesn't work for you and you still want to do it you can always do figure four laying on your back which is just a supine swan pose so either figure four on your back or you might take your Pigeon pose facing down. I'd like to come into down dog just a little bit in between before I get my way over into swan on the right side. Extending the left leg to the back, propping yourself up with any blocks or blankets that you need to feel comfortable. Come down onto a block or the forearms or whatever we need to for comfort. I like to make a little pillow out of my hands and have my head nice and elongated. See what works for you. We'll stay here for 20 breaths and just get really nice and juiced up in towards the right side of the hip rotators. Any tension, untie knots.
going to take another five breaths here. And slowly make your way back up like a badger. And then we'll just come in, either on all fours. I like to take it down dog between swan poses. Take your left leg and prepare it for pigeon. Pigeon swan, like a mix. Take your left knee over to the left side and your left foot over to the right side and find a good comfortable place to be for the next 20 breaths. Come down onto a block or pillow, forearms. I like to make my little hand pillow for my head to be somewhere supported, my forehead. And then we'll stay here for about 20 breaths and then just enjoy melting in towards the left side of the hip and elongating in towards the right side of the hip and belly brings health in towards the lower back. I'm checking in that all muscles are relaxed so that they're not going in to steal the pose. Take another 10 breaths here. Then from here, we're gonna come back up and get ourselves facing to the front. I like to take another down dog in between just to get some blood through that left knee and ankle. And then from here, we're gonna come and take a seat facing forward or really facing any direction that you like and taking a straddle pose. So just taking your legs out in a comfortable direction at an angle, not too wide. And then from here, you might use your block for your forearms. Maybe that feels good. And then we'll go and find a good place where we are feeling a nice kind of closing 
um, with the forward fold in towards the back body. You might have a block, you might come down onto your forearms, you might come all the way down onto your hands again or wherever you're at. See if you can first start it off with your heels down and your toes up and then just relaxing the toes as much as they can. Just letting them be, relaxing the body, expanding into the back body and having a nice time in towards the back of the legs, into the rotation of the hips, and back into that lower back again. It feels pretty good to get a nice little um, expansion in for the sacral lower back region. So enjoy for about 20 breaths, and I see you right after. Hmm. Go and find your edge, where it is for you. Be all kinds of feelings into the, hope, hopefully the whole erector, spinae group alongside the spine, the whole lower back area. Another 10 breaths. Another three breaths. And slowly make your way back up. And crossing the legs. And we'll sit together for three minutes as well. Sitting nice and tall on the sit bones.
you could continue to sit in meditation as long as you like, always. Or you could also close your yin yoga practice with a shavasana and just let that blood flow through the upper to the lower body and reaping the benefits of the poses that we did by just fully relaxing for three minutes together. Visualizing all the fascia around the hips being nice and clean and fresh and clear in towards the lower back. The chi at the meridians are running nice and easeful and with um, clear communication to the organs. Move your arms, your legs, over your head, and stretch your right side and your left side. And bending your knees in, coming over to one side, and making your way up to a comfortable seat. And thank you so much, all of you who joins me here on YouTube for some yoga get-togethers. I love it and I look forward to seeing you next time and I hope that you enjoy this class just as much as I did. Namaste.